Hi everyone, this video will show you how to measure the cable loss of the coaxial cable. So first we will use the signal generator as a transmitter and the spectrum analyzer here will be as the receiver. So we're going to set the signal, okay, the frequency here. Let's say we set it as 1 gigahertz here, 1 gig, okay, and the amplitude we can set it like negative 10 dBm. And then we can view from here actually they should be have the peak. But we haven't turned on the power, so let's say we turn on the RF power here. Okay, you can view they have the peak over here. So we're going to click on the peak charge here, and then we can view it. The peak is here now. The marker is like we have like negative thirteen point five something. That means the the cable loss is around like negative. It's around like three point five dB. Okay, so but how about if different frequency? So if different frequency, we can view it like let's say the lowest frequency should be have like lower loss compared to the higher frequency. So we make it like one megahertz, one hundred megahertz. Okay, so so we can click on the pictures here. Okay, just click on pictures. They will have like pictures here. So we can view it like actually the if at one hundred megahertz. Okay, so it's like ninety eight point four. We can use it like the frequency setting we can make it like center frequency is 100 megahertz okay so we can use a picture here so we can view it actually the cable loss for this will be like negative 12.7 something that means it's like lower loss compared with the one gigahertz okay so and then if we change it to like the frequency to 12.8 gigahertz Okay, so let's see about the negative 10 dBm. What is the value for the peak? So we can click on the frequency here and then we choose it like 2.8 at the center frequency, giga, and then we choose like peak charge here. So you can view it, it's like negative 14.2 something. That means like we have like lost about like 4.2 dB. That means like the higher frequency, the higher loss of the cable. Okay, so this is how you're going to check your cable loss for each frequency. Thank you.